Amazing guest today, Bobby Rush. And more than just a harmonica player, singer, guitarist, <laughs> you name it. He's got a brand new album out, Porcupine Me. But here's the thing, Bobby. It's like, you know, you, you got the uh, Blues Hall of Fame Award in 2006. You've been Grammy nominated. You are known as the king of the Chitlin circuit. And you're one of our living blues legends who's still out on the road and making great new music. Well, I'm happy, I'm still learning, and I'm still enthused. Uh, my prayer is every day that I keep enthused because I know a man can live a long time without water. He can live a long time without food, but you can't live long without hope. I still have hope. I'm still writing, I'm still enjoying myself, and I'm still trying to go places I've never been. And I'm going there for two reasons. First of all, to be popular enough so I can be uh, make enough money to do all these things to be popping up with people so I can do things for someone else because all this trip is not just about me. It's right. about someone else so I can give back to people who uh, desire to have it, uh, want to uh, have no way of getting it. Right. So let me try to help someone well, you along know, and, the way. And what I love about, you know, Porcupine Meat, your, your brand new album, released <laughs> on September 16th yeah. and, and the vinyl's out now also, yeah, if people yeah. want to buy the vinyl, is it's still true to your music that, yeah. that, you know, you've done 370 albums. Yeah. Well, and I did 370 some songs. Songs, right. Because so, the time I come there wasn't CDs and albums, you know, the whole eight track that we had. <laughs> right, the right. The seven to eight and 33 to 30 when I started way back. Man. Right. You, you know, know and, and back in Louisiana where you started. Yeah. And, then, and then on to Chicago and, yeah. and, you know, you've been everywhere. Well, I left Louisiana in 1947, went to Pine Bluff, Arkansas with my father, who was a preacher, pastor of a church. And then like the early 50s, I moved to Chicago and I lived there for about four to eight years. Uh, friends of mine, Muddy Waters, the late Muddy Waters, uh, the Hollow Wolf, the B.B. King, the Little Walter, the, all the guys who came uh, through that area, I was able to be with them. And right. they, they kind of drug me through because I looked up to them for what they do in music, man. Right. And, and you were like like the young guy then. Yeah, and, I was doing, and you know, yeah. and you and Elmore James? Yeah. <laughs> wow. yeah Elmore James. Boyd Gimmo, which is Elmore James' first cousin, was a slide player. He said he taught Elmo Jane how to play, and he was older than Elmo Jane, but he was my band leader. Then he introduced me to his, uh, to his first cousin, right. who was Elmo. Yeah. Then I got Elmo to play with me. You know, I want money today because I got him to play for a little nothing. It's amazing. It's story. amazing. You know, in all the videos, you know, we were talking earlier on the news to where the first time I saw you, Bobby, I think was on uh, the Midnight the Special. Midnight <laughs> you know, and it's like, and I was just mesmerized with yeah. the performance that you did. Yeah. And, and it was, and I love blues. And I know, you know, you and I both do, but you brought your own kind of funkiness to it, you know, a, an, an edge. But, the but, the, but I'm the, if I was young and good looking then, man. <laughs> you still are. Oh, man, you still good. are. And the yeah. brand new album, you know, I, this is going to do great. And you're with a new uh, new label now also. I went to a new label, which is good for me, and I hope it's good for them because I, I love the team. And I, I love Scott Billiton, who's produced this, God, is oh, man, I don't know. He just brought so many so much joy to me because he let me do me. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't want right. me to be someone else, which I thought he wanted me to, to come in and, and fit in with the Snoop Dogg issues or what have you. But no, he said, Bobby Rush, I want you to be yourself. And here's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the old Bobby Rush. What's the old Bobby Rush? I said, man, I got plenty of old Bobby Rushes in the can. So I brought out, <laughs> I had the little cassettes that I've been recording on for 30 years right. ago and put them on the table to start to record and let Vastai Jackson, all the guys listen to it. They laughed at me, my little old recorders. But, but look at how great been, it sounds. I've been had to thank for 45 years. Yeah. <laughs> little, but but you know, also, tape. you brought on, you know, Joe Bonamassa, yeah, oh Keb Moe. It's like a lot of talented people. You know, yeah. it's, it's, you know, besides you, a, a blue star in your own right, you've got a lot of other great stars on here, too. And, and, and the, most of the guys that was on the original section from Louisiana, the first time I ever recorded in my home state. Amazing. <sighs> and you've been living in Jackson, Mississippi for a while. Yeah, for a while. I've been living there for a while. And, uh, I left out of Chicago because of Jackson, Mississippi. If you notice, it's the center of the South. So I wanted to get in the center so I could leak out one way or the other from Jackson and come back home and wouldn't have to work uh, through the week. I wouldn't have to be 
driving to get back to Chicago right. or what have you, and be back home so I could have some time for myself well, and write and, and create. And you, you tour so much, and you know, and even seeing some of the shows too that you did with uh, Bobby Blue Bland, and we were talking <laughs> about you playing with BB King, yes, you know, yes, and, yes. and Mr. King bringing you up on stage. And well, you know, uh, it's such a sad thing, and it's such a good thing. It's a good thing that I knew him that long, mm -hmm. but the sad part about it, I didn't realize what he was doing for me, uh, to me. He was a passionate torch. He asked me six months before he passed, I want you to uh, book, work with me and, and work with me in Illinois because I'm, I'm going to do my last show in Mississippi. Oh, I thought, B.B., you ain't going to do that. Mm -hmm. I was already booked at another place, so I gotten off early from this other place to come to do the show. And that same night we did the show, worked so hard, went to Illinois to, to uh, the Ebony Club that mm -hmm. night after, after the festival. Yeah, and down at the museum. At the museum. And we had so much fun playing together and talking and enjoying each other. Then the next week, I got in a BB, next two weeks or three mm -hmm. weeks, I got in a BB King's award. Wow. Three weeks after that, he passed. Wow. Not knowing that gonna be the last time he asked me to work in Mississippi. Not knowing the last time he worked, period, I worked with Well, and, and he essentially, you know, handed the torch to you, Bob. He passed the torch. Right. Now, speaking of which, I also want to talk, you know, you're, you know, obviously an incredible vocalist, guitarist and everything, but your harmonica playing, <laughs> and we were talking off camera earlier, because you play the, the Lee Oscar harmonicas a lot of times. Yes. And I, the Honers. I but. just love Lee Oscar and his harp. It's in there. I play the Honers all too, but I, you know, between the two the guys, I, I got Lee just my friend. But we were it. talking about what I found so interesting, Bobby, <laughs> is that you're like the Jimi Hendrix of yes. the harp, yeah. in that you don't play it right side up. No, I had never told it. <laughs> so, you know, most guys play it and you can see this the way. way. On it. This way you play it. Right. You would play it that way. Yeah. But I reversed it. Can you see I reversed it so much that I wore it off? <laughs> you, wore, you wore the paint I, off of I, it. Off the object end. Yeah. That's not the way the guys play no. it. No. But, <laughs> but that's how you got part of your sound. Can't nobody do to take that. <laughs> Only one Bobby Rush. Only Bobby Rush. <laughs> <laughs> now, also, you know, guitar-wise, we were talking, you know, you played a lot of Epiphones, like on the news and oh, everything, yeah, but, yeah. but you've used the Fenders, and, and we, when we look at the inside of the album cover, yeah. I love that shot of you with that telly. Yeah, but, but telly, but then, then yeah, telly's right good. Is. Telly's good. But, you know, I, uh, Epiphone and all that stuff I played back in the day. Right. Some, some, a lot of Well, I think of, even on the new video kind of uh, for Porcupine Me, Hoffer, you had a Hoffner there. Hoffner. And yeah. they, and they uh, ended up endorsed me with it and made me one from scratch. So I love the guitar, man. I love I loved what they thought about me to make me a guitar that fits my hand. They tried it four or five different times yeah. before they got the one that I said, okay. Well, you know what? I'm yeah. predicting, like, within the next year or so, we may see a Bobby Rush signature model from some company. Well, we, we hope with they the, With the harmonica and guitar. We hope they do. Yeah, yeah. I think you're going to have to come back on. We'll have to talk about those. Somebody asked me, said, Bobby Rush, why do you sing the blues? Is it because your woman left you? Yes. <laughs> but you can also have the blues if they stay too long. Exactly. <laughs> let, let, let me show you what I mean about that. <laughs> Have you ever been mistreated by someone you really love? Have you ever been mistreated by someone you really love? Out of all of me and my woman could have left me far. She left me for the garbage man. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if That's you, if that is the blues, <laughs> the one and only Bobby Rush. Be sure and pick up a copy, Porcupine Meat. It's an incredible album. You can get it on CD, you can download it on iTunes. Your website, what's your website now, Bobby? Website, they, what they have to do now come to BobbyRush.net. Okay. Bobby Rush, uh, Bluesmain.net. Yeah, and, they, and you've got yeah, the albums up album there. Up you there. can get uh, the CD, you can get the CD. vinyl the t-shirt and what, come see and, you on and, tour. And you can come to see him on tour. You can find this uh, in record shop around the country because uh, Rounds of Record got such a uh, good distributor all across the world. It won't be hard to find. If you remember the name, you'll find the record. Yeah, so you need to Blue. rush out and buy a copy of Bobby Rush. Right. <laughs> and I clap, when you eat, eat pieces of this meat, you will never have a piece of chicken no more. <laughs> <laughs> There's the testament <laughs> right there. I'll tell you what, the blues legend, Mr. Bobby Rush. Pick up a copy of the album and be sure and go see him on tour too.
see me. Thank you for joining me, Bob. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching The Rock and Review.